Good morning everyone and mabuhay. I am Jerome A. Tayao together with Sander Balais, Ian Latumbo, Clyde Perater, and Socorro Borabod. We are the BOSS team. In this video, we will discuss our business continuity management plan during a critical situation brought by a typhoon. So for the business function recovery priorities, according to Appendix B, the business function priorities of the company should be the health and safety of all stakeholders, important documents and data, and resources such as machines and supplies must also be secured so the company may continue to function after the disaster. Relocation strategy. If the company needed to evacuate, all the employees must apply must apply the learning they've gained from the company's disaster risks seminar and drills. If the company was stranded in the building, they would seek the help from the MDRRMO or the Municipality Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office. So for the alternative uh, business site, in the event that a physical store will be affected by typhoons, the alternate business site for the company will be its online store and vice versa. If the online store will be affected, the alternate site will be the physical store. What is recovery plan? The first thing that the company will do is to assess the health of each stakeholder. They will also assess the current state or damages in the business so they can brainstorm a way to fix the problem. Um, the company will relocate all the processes that needed to be relocated until the business recovers and be back to the original site. Next is the recovery basis. First is during a disaster, all the staff must be knowledgeable enough with the things they need to do and don't. Proper dissemination of reliable information is important. Next, after the disaster, the company will implement the recovery plan that I have mentioned a while ago. Uh, next is alternate site locations are elaborated in Appendix C. This can be warehouse, internet cafe, co-working space, and our work from home. Before the company transition back, the primary site, the maintenance team must check them if establishment is safe from any hazard. Uh, records backup, the company should have a database and a database manager that will ensure that all data are secured and free from any threats. The company will also have a cloud backup. The list of records for the backup are listed in Appendix A, E, and F. Um, this, includes, this includes employees' contacts and profile, vital records such as purchase document, tax sales, bank statements, and contracts, and vendor lists. Um, and then next is restoration plan. The machine and maintenance team, which repair equipment and machine, will lead the restoration plan along with company executives. Appendix 1 says the finance and inventory department will audit the company's remaining resources. Good day, I'm Clyde. Uh, for the recovery teams, is during a typhoon, um, important team roles are composed of chief executive officer, executive secretary, Chief Operations Officer, Assistant Opera Operations Officer, and Team Leaders. All staff must communicate depending on the hierarchy of position except if the situation is urgent or emergency. After that is the Team Contacts. Team Contacts are stored in Appendix A. It has all the profiles of the employees which includes their positions, contact numbers, emails and addresses um, the company may use this information to communicate with its employee during a disaster um, aside from that is the team responsibilities and the company has six teams which are the executive team creatives and design application developer and social media machine operator and maintenance and lastly the finance and inventory Executives lead um, operations and strategy during typhoons, while social media spread announcements, then the maintenance identifies hazards, and lastly, the finance oversees firm asset audits. Lastly is the departmental recovery teams. Um, as explained in Appendix D, 
DEOC is the centralized location of emergency response and recovery support operations during incidents. The location for EOC can be the places listed in Appendix C. The company will follow the pattern of refer, assess, develop, gain, commitment, execute, and close whenever they are dealing with a critical situation caused by the typhoon. During a disaster, it is important to calm down everyone and ensure that the aforementioned priorities are secured. Ensure that there will be accurate and relevant dissemination of information across all departments. Each department's team leader, especially those in charge of machinery and maintenance and inventory, will be in charge of the preliminary damage assessment. The executive will release a formal statement about the result of the preliminary damage assessment and will announce that the business site is officially declared to be scene of an emergency. The plan will be implemented and affected operations will be relocated. The company will hold one hour general meeting each week to evaluate department performance. The company should secure the internet access to the new warehouse or site location and incentivize work from home employees. The company will monitor all processes and department tasks while the main site is under maintenance or reconstruction. After the company has recovered from a critical situation, they will transition back to the primary site with the help of Lipat Bahay partner mentioned in Appendix F. After the relocation procedures, full implementation of processes must be brought back to the primary site. And that's all. Thank you.